Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise D-Day. I want to show you something quite cool here. And I see this actually a lot in um, a lot of like financial reporting um, or, or revenue reporting, etc. And so this is a really relevant example for um, to create that just a little bit extra visualization um, to make certain data stand out. What I want to do here is I want to highlight the last result on a visualization and I want it to be a different color. Okay, and I want it to, to dynamically be a different color. Okay, now the techniques that I walk through here, you're actually going to see how you can actually do this. Um, you could actually extend this and, and do it very differently to um, to what I'm actually going to specifically show here. The the I guess the the workflow or the process around how you do it is um, very reusable. Okay, so that's the, that's that's sort of one of my, one of my key takeaways for you today. Okay, so let's let's have a walk through. Let's have a walk through what we're trying to do here, basically. Okay, so f the first thing that we need to do is we really need to try and identify when the last sale was. Okay, because you've got to remember, I'm just trying to work out. Okay, what was the 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 very last sale that we made here? And I wanted to highlight that particular column here. And in, in this data set, the last sale happened in November 2018. Okay, this demo data set. So we've got to find a way or to create a formula which basically shows or goes and works out what that last date was, okay? So I created this measure here, really simple one where I said last sale max, okay? I'm gonna bring this in and let's have a look what, what it actually returns. Okay, so I'll just uh, format this. So you see that, that this does calculate the max date here, but it only actually calculates the max date within each different month, okay? So we actually we want to actually get the very last day that we actually made a sale, and that was actually the fifteenth of the eleventh, two thousand and eighteen. Okay, so for us to get that here, what we need to do is we need to go calculate all dates. Okay, because we need to change the context in which we calculate that max date. So if I change that now, and you'll see, okay, now it's working out. Okay, the very last date that we had um, a sale on was on the fifteenth of November. Okay. Because remember what we're trying to do, what our ultimate goal is here is to highlight this particular result in our visualization, okay? Make it a different color. Cool, so now that we've worked out that first bit, and, and as I always say, get things into a table so you can actually work things out slowly, okay? And, and understand what's happening at each different, um, each different level of your calculations. Measure branching is such a key te technique here to go over. If you're not sure what that is, definitely search for that on YouTube and you'll see a number of video videos from me around that. Okay, so then this is the this is the formula that we need to use to then isolate that last date, okay? Because we need to basically isolate this very last um, month and year here that had a sale, okay? So this is how we did it. I redid that particular last sale in here um, just, just for demonstration purposes. So basically what we wanna do is we need to work down this list and in every single row evaluate does the current date so does the current um, date here that we have, does it equal to the um, the same month, okay? The, the, the same month of the last date, okay? So basically what we're doing is we're, we're, we're using the date column here, we're using the date column here to match out um, uh, months to months. And we're basically just, um, by utilizing one here we're always working out the first day of the month so we're comparing is the last sale month the same as any of these months in this in any context here if it is then equal to one if not equal to zero okay so let's actually bring this in and so you'll see here that it, say we go to june uh, january 2018 this evaluates to false here because the last sale date is 15th of november and so it doesn't equal the the same month here um, as as uh, as January twenty eight. As we go down the list, this is the only one that will evaluate to true, and that's how we get one there. Okay. So now we've been able to isolate that particular month here. Okay. So now what we want to do is we need to go and visually change this um, this chart color. Okay. Or this 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 element in our chart. We need to change the color. And what's amazing is that Power BI have made some mini updates to visualizations here, but this is one of the one of the coolest updates um, in recent times is, is being able to change conditionally 
what you're actually seeing within your report, okay, or your visualization. Okay, so I can just click on my visualization like this. I can come down to my data colors, and you'll see that there's these three dots here. If you select these three dots, you'll see conditional formatting. Okay, so I'll click on that, and you can change a number of things in here. So I'm going to format by rules in this particular case. Okay, then I can actually come down here, and this is hopefully you're seeing how like reusable this technique is in so many different ways as I'm working through this. It's, it's incredible actually, um, you know how 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 the variability of this technique. So then I'm going to go key measures, and I'm going to go last sale. I'm going to go find my last sale period. Okay. Then I'm going to say if the value is one, I want this to equal to say I'm going to make this um, a grey color. Okay. I'm going to go add. If the the um, value is equal to zero, I want to make this say um, we'll make it a blue color. Okay. So I'm just adding these rules into my visualization now based on this calculated measure or this measure that we calculate. Okay. Then I'm going to go okay. And check out that check out that how that changes the visualization. It's pretty cool, right? And it's and it's sort of it, it flows into the rest of your model, all the slicing and filtering that you can place in your data. And um, we can also change the year here, but I want to show you something. I want to show you something. You see how this actually doesn't work as it should, and that's only because of the way we set up our formula, where we're looking for the very last result last sale that we have made from the beginning of time okay say you wanted to make this more dynamic okay you only need to make a small change to this particular say you wanted to show the last sale period in any selected context on your report okay all you would need to do here is you would need to change this all because remember all goes from to the, to the beginning of time but all selected actually only works over the context which you have in your report page Okay, so I'll just go enter. And so check out now when I go 2017. It always goes and grabs the last date in that particular context now. Okay, and so check this out. So say, for instance, I created a, a different sort of date slicer. Right? So now we can we can quickly change this to any, any date time frame, and that will always show up the, la the very last result um, in our... Um, in our visualization that's pretty pretty cool right it is pretty serious seriously cool stuff um, when you when you bring these all these techniques together okay that's all I wanted to cover hopefully you enjoyed um, running through that one um, you know really really interesting technique where you can combine some DAX and you can combine some new conditional formatting um, inside your visualizations so many different ways you can take this so hopefully this gives you a bit of inspiration if you, if you enjoyed learning about this one, definitely throw the video a like, really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Heaps of great content um, coming out to you very soon. Okay, take care, all the best.